Hey everyone, so just last month I got a chance to work with Johnny Harris. I created eight or nine map animations for a video on his channel. The video is called Why Indonesia is Always Erupting, and I did a bunch of cool like volcano animations. And today I wanna do a project breakdown and show you how I created one of those in particular. And specifically, at the beginning of that video, you'll see there's a globe that's spinning and it shows all the volcanoes in the world. In fact, they use the image for the thumbnail of the video. So today I'm gonna be breaking that down now I'm not really gonna recreate the entire clip because that would take a long time but I'm gonna show you how I put it together and just give you the gist of um, the tools that I use so particularly I'm gonna be using Adobe After Effects version I think it's 18.2 uh, this is 2021 so it's the latest version here I use a premium plugin called geo layers 3 and I'm using a free plugin called video copilot orb all right, let's get into it. So I'm just gonna kind of go from scratch here and hopefully I'll remember what I did and uh, be able to create or kind of recreate it. So I'm gonna go to window and under extensions, I have GeoLayers 3 installed. Now I was using a template project called Globe. If you click at the top of the GeoLayers panel here, you can select projects and they, there's a bunch of template projects down here that you can get started off with. Uh, so I'm gonna select Globe. Now this project is pretty particular and there's certain, um, while you get to use the 3D sphere, there are certain drawbacks, like adding labels is not the same as adding labels in a flat GeoLayers 3 project, you know, in a normal GeoLayers project. That's actually quite simple, but in this project, it's, um, it's a little difficult and you'll see why. So this uh, project is set up with a control map comp and a texture map comp. So in the control map comp, that's where I'm gonna add all my keyframes and make my globe spin. The texture map comp is where I'm gonna add all the volcano elements as well as the country outlines and anything else that I wanna create. You can see I have four comps open here and the final one is render. So this is like the last actual comp where you're gonna render everything out. If you look over here at the VC orb, this is where we have some of the labels and you'll see it's set to quarter resolution and that's because you know just this is a really system intensive project so it makes it um, easy to work with. Now, one thing that you wanna know about this project as well is not only are, are labels kind of hard to create, but the resolution is best for like, uh, it's kind of stuck or set to the map comp. So um, what I mean by that is you can't zoom in very far. So you can't really do earth zooms. This is more for like a country level animation. So you're not gonna be doing super far zoom ins. You wanna keep it kind of a little bit far out. So in, down in here, you'll see that I've got the labels in this comp. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these off. And if you jump into the texture comp here, you can see that I have the two country shape layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off as well. Now I'm gonna jump into this texture map comp. So a big part of making these map animations is working with map data. So for this intro animation, Johnny wanted to basically, he, he was really specific about that he just wanted to use the globe. He wanted it spinning from country to country and he wanted to visualize all the volcanoes in the world. And he made it really easy on me because he provided the map data. That's really, getting the data points is really um, oftentimes one of the most time intensive parts of this process. So he already had a JSON file that he provided me that had all the volcanoes in the world. So let me show you how to bring that inside of GeoLayers through here. So there's a little add features to browser button here. I'm gonna click on this and go to import file. And I'm gonna navigate to my map data subfolder here. And right here, it's volcanoes worldwide. And I'm gonna double click on this. And now you can see, as long as I have it selected in the panel here, it's showing me a preview of every single volcano that's mapped here. And I think there's something like 1,509 or something. It's a lot. Now in a normal GeoLayers project to visualize these, I'd probably use labels. Um, but since this is this VC orb project, labels are not very easy to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, I'm actually gonna draw these out as features, which is gonna be a little clunky and, and system intensive, but it'll work. So I need to pick a, a layer style here. So I'm gonna click up here and I'm gonna go grab this orange stroke, this five pixel, and I'm gonna click on it again and then edit this style. And I'm just gonna bump the stroke up a bit, maybe to 10. And once you select layer styles, you'll notice these four options down here. These are very important. So I don't want to do individual layers. If I have that selected, it's gonna create 1,509 layers. I don't really want that. As long as I have that deselected, it's gonna create one shape layer with a bunch of uh, shape groups, which is fine because I don't wanna, once those volcanoes are in place, I don't wanna do a bunch of other editing. Um, I'm not gonna have them animating on at different times. It's just gonna be kind of set there on the globe. So that'll be deselected and it's gonna be inside the uh, texture map comp. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and draw these with this selected. I'm gonna hit draw features right here. And now it's giving me a warning and saying, hey, you're about to create a lot of features here, these shape layers or these shape elements. It's gonna take a while, it's gonna slow down After Effects. That's fine. Now I remember this taking about one to two minutes and I have a pretty, pretty rocking system here. All right, yeah, that took maybe two minutes, a little bit longer. Now you can see I have all these little orange dots here and I have, if I go into the actual texture comp, you can see that it's just the one individual shape layer here. And if I open that up, there would be 1,500 uh, individual shape groups. So I'm not gonna open that up. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna make these pop somehow. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I wanna desaturate the actual map and then I'm gonna add a glow and uh, to make the to make all those volcanoes really stand out, make it get those lava vibes going. So if I hit the little shy layer here, that's going to show me all of the assets that I've got in this texture comp, including all the map tile images which are at the bottom. So this makes it easy as I can apply a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to drag that to place it just above my map imagery here because I don't want it desaturating uh, the volcano layer naturally. Now I can go to effect and go to color correction, lumetry color, and then I'll open up basic correction and I'll bring the saturation down to 35. And I'm gonna go grab the shape layer for the volcanoes, go to effect, and I have a premium plugin uh, called Deep Glow and it's from a company called Plugin Everything. I'll leave a link to that in the video, affiliate link to that in the video description if you're interested. It's a really great plugin. If you don't have that, you can always use the um, the default glow and after effects. However, it's not as good as deep glow. And now look at that. It's popping out really nice. And I'm pretty much going to leave it as default, aside from switching the blend mode to add. And that'll make it look a little more uh, molten-y. There we go. That's looking good. Now I'm gonna go back to the VC Orb comp and I really need to make a lot of adjustments in here. So I'm actually gonna delete these labels, just kinda of get them out of there. And if I click on the VC Orb solid layer, it gives me all these options. And not only is there a VC Orb effect, there's also Core Shine and Fade Shine. I'm just gonna turn off Core Shine and let me look at what Fade Shine is. I don't know what Fade Shine is. That's looking fine. The Fade Shine's fine, but I'm just gonna change uh, the color on that. And then I'm gonna turn the illumination off for the VC orb effect because I don't want those lights to distract from the volcanoes. They almost look like some volcanoes, so I'll turn that down. And I'm gonna unlock the stars and we'll go to background stars. And here I have this gradient ramp and I have the two turbulent noises which are working as the stars. And then I have this glow. I'm gonna turn off the glow and maybe for the gradient ramp I will once again try to match a color on the earth here. Something like that, maybe. Again, I'm probably not gonna nail this exactly as I did it on Johnny's video. And I'm gonna actually add a Gaussian blur to this as well, because I remember those stars are just looking a little too sharp for my taste. So I'm gonna go to comp or I'm gonna go to effect, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur, and I'll just pump it up to like eight or something. And then I'm gonna actually go to the layer background stars and I'm gonna bring it down to 50%. And you know what? I see a pesky lens flare in there and that's actually hidden. So if I hit the shy button, you'll see there's that lens flare. I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, I've got the map stylized. Now I'm gonna add some country kind of overlays here. So the way I do this is I go back to the texture comp and I'm gonna go ahead and search for, let's just do one here, Ethiopia. So what I did was search for Ethiopia and I would add this to the browser and then I would switch the layer style to just this uh, solid white here. And then I would go ahead and draw this feature. And now you can see it's here, but it's very, very uh, bright and uh, solid. So I'm gonna add a blend mode, which I'm gonna switch it to overlay. Uh, I'm gonna bring the opacity down to, I think 75, and I'm gonna make sure that it is below the volcano's layer. There are some pissed off babies in this house. Always pissed off babies in this house. So I, I essentially did that for Ethiopia, Iceland, and then I created, um, I actually grabbed a bunch of different states and parts of Canada and South America to do the Western Americas and basically created those into one shape um, to do that. So that's how I created the um, country outlines. And then I went over to the 
control map comp. And if you look here, as I click and drag in the map comp here, check this out. That makes my globe spin. Oh, yeah. Once again, this is in quarter resolution, so don't worry. And if, uh, if I remember correctly, you do not have to finalize this because, um, but I'm not entirely sure because, uh, you know what? The creator Marcus has a uh, tutorial that tells you how to use this step by step. So I'm going to link to that in the video description. And you know what? I'm going to pause because there's baby screaming and I'm going to go see what this situation is all about. Okay, where was I? What you do is you put, you know, you, you position this where you want it and uh, you, you're gonna add keyframes via this button right here. But before I do that, I'm, and I'm gonna go down here to the control comp. This is where it's gonna add the keyframes. I'm gonna hit the U key, and uh, it already has an animation set, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these and delete them. And I will add, uh, you know, just for this animation, I'm just gonna make it spin uh, once. So I'll add a keyframe here, and then I'll go to the five second mark or something, and then I will just go down to, I'll hit U so I can see all the keyframes. And I'm just going to add, um, I'm just going to add rotation for the for the longitude here, which is going to make it spin around one time. And then I'll just drag this back. So what I did in, in for Johnny's map was I created these, I think, four or five keyframes over the course of the 25 seconds, where when he spoke, it was it went from it did the full rotation, then it landed in Ethiopia, then went to Iceland, then went to the Western Americas, then went to Indonesia, and then had the flickering on of the map. Thing. You know, I'm leaving a lot out here, but whatever. But if you look now, I've got this spinning. Uh, I think Johnny Harris would be mortified by this because it's spinning in the wrong direction. So all I gotta do is create a negative one here and then I'll have it spin in the right direction. So yeah, then I, I keyframed those and I added the, the Indonesia label over that. And then I had some film grain and went over this. And, you know, I think it was set to overlay. I can't really remember. Uh, overlay and maybe like 50. That's not right because that background is looking way too bright. I don't really remember what I did for this, but there was definitely uh, some film grain on here. I think that like outer shine, glow, fade shine, whatever that is, was probably a little bit more reserved there, but... Uh, the globe still looks good with the, the glow on those volcanoes. And Okay, so there you have it. That's my map animation for Johnny Harris's video, Why Indonesia is Always Erupting. I hope you enjoyed this little project breakdown. Uh, I have a bunch of other animations. Maybe I'll jump into, uh, maybe I'll break down a few of the others that are Google Earth Studio. You like that? You like that microphone? And uh, so if you want to see more map animation videos using GeoLayers, Google Earth Studio, after effects any of those tools be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and if you like the video leave me a thumbs up and uh go check out this video from johnny uh it's a really cool video i think it turned out great and uh leave a comment on that video so i can hopefully get more map work from them jedi oh, whoa 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 see you later Woo.